Work, A Song of Triumph by Angela Morgan When Captain John Smith was made the leader of the colonists at Jamestown, Virginia, he disgraced the get-rich-quick seekers of gold by announcing flatly, He who will not work shall not eat. This rule made of Jamestown the first permanent English settlement in the New World. But work does more than lead to material success. It gives an outlet from sorrow, restrains wild desires, ripens and refines character, enables human beings to cooperate with God, and when well done, brings to life its consummate satisfaction. Every man is a prince of possibilities, but by work alone can he come into his kingship. Work. Thank God for the might of it, the ardor, the urge, the delight of it. Work that springs from the heart's desire, setting the brain and the soul on fire. Oh, what is so good as the heat of it, and what is so glad as the beat of it, and what is so kind as a stern command, challenging brain and heart and hand? Work, thank God for the pride of it, for the beautiful conquering tide of it, sweeping the life in its furious flood, thrilling the arteries, cleansing the blood, mastering stupor and dull despair, moving the dreamer to do and dare. Oh, what is so good as the urge of it, and what is so glad as a surge of it, and what is so strong as a summons deep, rousing the torpid soul from sleep? Work, thank God for the pace of it, for the terrible, keen, swift rays of it, fiery steeds in full control, nostrils a-quiver to greet the goal. Work, the power that drives behind, guiding the purposes, taming the mind, holding the runaway wishes back, reining the will to one steady track. Speeding the energies faster, faster, triumphing over disaster. Oh, what is so good as the pain of it, and what is so great as the gain of it, and what is so kind as the cruel goad, forcing us on through the rugged road? Work, thank God for the swing of it, for the clamoring, hammering ring of it, passion and labor daily hurled on the mighty anvils of the world. Oh, what is so fierce as the flame of it, and what is so huge as the aim of it? Thundering on through dearth and doubt, calling the plan of the Maker out. Work the Titan, work the friend, shaping the earth to a glorious end. Training the swarms and blasting the hills, doing whatever the Spirit wills. Rending a continent apart, to answer the dream of the Master Heart. Thank God for a world where none may shirk. Thank God for the splendor of work.